Bran's eyes rolled into the back of his head as he transcended into Hodor's mind. He awoke to chaos. The Night King's army was attacking their sanctuary. He was left with two choices, escape or die. Bran looked down through Hodor's eyes and saw his own body still locked in a trance. Bran directed Hodor to escape with Mira while towing his body. They reached a long hall with a door at the end. Hodor drug Bran's body as fast as he could as hundreds of the undead flooded the corridor behind them. Hodor burst through the door into the freezing cold wind whipping at his hair. He pulled Bran to the other side with Mira and was ordered to hold the door. Hodor slammed his body on the door, leveraging his full weight against the monsters inside. They crashed into the door, puncturing holes and arms surged through the cavities. Claws raked at Hodor's face, knives pierced his body, teeth ripped through his flesh, blood pooled at Hodor's feet, yet he still held the door with all his strength, buying time for Mira and Bran to escape. Eventually, they overcame Hodor and devoured him. The wind quieted his muffled screams and his body's remains were softly blanketed in snow. Bran's mind was still tethered to a dying Hodor through his trance. In his vision, Bran encountered a younger version of Hodor named Willis, but in the middle of this mental reverie, the Night King's army attacked the Raven Sanctuary. Bran couldn't escape the trance. Willis was the only way Bran could help his friends. He glared at Willis, focusing his concentration on entering the young boy's mind. Bran's eyes rolled into the back of his head as he transcended into Hodor's future. But Willis fell to the ground writhing in agony. He felt every slash, every bite, and every stab, all the pain that coursed through Hodor's body barrage young Willis's mind. He was overwhelmed, screaming, hold the door, hold the door, hold door, Hodor. But Hodor was gone. Willis was gone. The future defiled the past. Hodor's death reached through the expanse of time to strangle his mind years before. The only words he could utter were the last words he heard before he died. Hodor. This is why his death is the worst death of Game of Thrones. Hodor spent his entire life dedicated to the Starks. If loyalty had a face, it would be this big guy nodding his head and murmuring, Hodor. How much better would his life have been if the last words he heard were thank you?